Apple Reminders and Asana are both Get Things Done apps with different use cases. Where Apple Reminders is a simple to do app, Asana is a project manager with a freemium version. In this three part series, we're going to explore these two apps to help you decide if you need something slightly more powerful than Apple Reminders. We are therefore going to be comparing the free version of Asana to Apple Reminders. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipa with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. You can easily sort your tasks in Apple Reminders by manually organizing them to your desired spots, which is a bit of a hassle. The app also automatically arranges your tasks according to the deadline dates on your tasks, when they were created, the priority level you set for them, their title in alphabetic order. Manual sorting can easily override this automation anytime you need a task to appear at the top of a list. Asana sorts your tasks without their sections or the list as a whole, according to deadlines, who they are assigned to, the number of likes they get, alphabetically, and also according to priorities. The app doesn't override your automatic sorting as Reminders does. It has a separate, dedicated, non-option reserved for manual sorting. The differences in sorting options are negligible at best. They won't make you decide one app over the other. Where Apple Reminders fills the checkbox on your to-do, Asana also adds a tick to it. Both apps also dim and can hide completed tasks. Striking out completed tasks is the best way to differentiate completed tasks from incomplete ones. Sadly, neither app does that, which is surprising, especially for Asana. Apple Reminders has a smart list for all your completed tasks, regardless of which list they are in. It makes it easier to find and refer back to a completed task if you ever needed to. Asana, however, keeps your completed tasks in their projects. It makes referring back a bit difficult, especially when you don't even know what you're looking for enough to search for it. Widgets allow you to quickly see your schedules from the home screen without opening an app. That is why we love the fact that both apps have widgets. Apple Reminders has one type of widget that displays one list at a time. It comes in three different sizes and you can choose which list to show. We love this because you can even display a smart list, which helps a lot. Asana has two types of widgets. The first one displays all the tasks due today and it comes in three different sizes. The second widget reminds you of your weekly focus to help you stay on track. Though you can't choose the list you see on your widgets in Asana, the widget options it has make as much sense as the ones in Apple Reminders. With all those options, chances are you probably just want to see your daily or assigned tasks on your homepage if you're using Apple Reminders. Both apps support true dark mode. and scribble, so you can handwrite your tasks in both apps. Only Apple Reminders supports multiple instances, meaning you can open the app twice. Asana only supports split viewing with other apps. From our experience, you probably not need multiple instances for a Get Things Done app. 
Asana and Apple Reminders don't have a lot of features in common. If you're looking to upgrade your to-do app without increasing your budget, you might want to stick around for the second and third parts of the series as we explore the differences in these two apps. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.